All right, then uh, welcome back everyone. And let's solve this question. Uh, make it zero. So I hope you have read the question once. Uh, but if you haven't read it, I'll just quickly summarize the question for you. So initially you are given an array A is consisting of uh, n integers. So this n is greater than equals to 2 by the way. And what you want to do is you want to change all the elements in it to zero. Okay. But what operation you have? So what operation you have in one operation, what you can do is you can pick two indices L and R. So here let's say we have one based indexing. That's what they have given. Zor all the elements in that subsegment. So basically pick a subsegment, zor all the elements and replace and replace that subsegment, like basically replace every element in that subsegment with this guy. Basically, the zor of all the elements in that. So basically, operation very simple. Pick a subsegment and replace every element with zor of all the elements. That's the operation they have. You can use above operation at most eight times. Okay, fine. So we have a bound on the number of operations eight times. So what we effectively want to do is we want to change all the elements into zero by performing this operation, by performing this operation at most eight times. And what is this operation? Pick a subsegment and replace all the elements with zor of all the elements in that subsegment. Fine. Uh, and what we want to print is, uh, we have bound on 8, fine, and find a sequence of operations so that after performing this operation in order, all the elements in A are equal to 0. It can be proven that solution always exists. Yeah, okay, uh, that's fine. So what we want is, we are just given n uh, greater than equals to 2 and the array elements. And what we have to output is, first uh, output a single integer k, the number of operations that we are going to use to convert uh, all the array elements to 0. And then print k lines, basically specifying uh, the subsegments which in which you are going to apply this operation, right? So operation is what? Picking first, to perform an operation, you have to pick this LNR, right? So what they're expecting is uh, first uh, output the number of operation that you perform and then uh, in each operation uh, what are the values of LNR basically the bounds that's what you want to print. Notice that uh, you don't have to minimize k so like they are not saying you to use as less operations as possible that's one important observation okay, here. So this question uh, frankly is very easy it, if you know the basic properties of Zor you will be able to figure it out uh, but anyway uh, we have to complete the playlist right. So let's uh, think uh, how can we approach this question. So you are given an operation, right? Pick any subsegment uh, and uh, replace each and every element in that subsegment with zor of all the elements, right? So that's uh, zor of all the elements in that subsegment, basically. That's what the operation you have, right? So fine. And we have eight operations. We can perform eight operations at max. That's the bound, basically, on, on our operations. Fine. So we have to make all the elements of area zero, right? So zor. So you have this zor operator at your disposal. And first thing that should come to your mind is how can I get zero with zor operation? And you know, uh, if you have same element, if you zor same elements, then basically you get a zero. Basically, what I'm saying is, x zor x is actually zero. So if you have same elements on both the side, then uh, the zor becomes zero. Fine. So that's uh, one thing that should come to your mind. So I want a zero, then a uh, zor should be there. Fine. Uh, yeah. So basically, if same element is there, then the zor will be zero. That's what you want to do. Now, we have an array, right? So it is a we can have an array of even size as well. So this n can be even as well. So let's just take an example of n equals to 4. And we can have an array of odd size as well, right? So why I'm thinking about even and odd cases is because uh, in the end, I have to perform zor between elements, right? So you know that if you have even number of same elements, then zor, if you have even number of same elements, then uh, and you zor all of them, then you get a zero, right? This way, I guess, already discussed in one of the videos. And if you have odd number of same elements, then the answer is that same element. So if you have x zor, x zor, x three times, then you get an output of x. But if you have x or x or x or four times basically, then output is zero because two 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 same elements pair up and they give zero and zeros or zero is anyway zero. So I hope you know these basic properties of Zor. Uh, if you are solving nine hundred related questions, of course you will be you have encountered Zor <laughs> once. Okay, fine. So that's why I am taking cases for odd and even cases. Okay, that was the only logical thinking <laughs> why I am taking odd and even. So basically, uh, let's have elements like this: a one, a two, a three, a four. Okay, so I want to convert all of these uh, guys to zero basically. Fine. Uh, in the end, like how can you get a zero when you have same element, when you zor same element with itself, right? Okay, fine. So there are here even elements. You can see even to a four. Now, if somehow all of these elements become same, then if I perform a zor of every one of them, so what I'm saying is if I can convert all of this to a same element, let's say x x x x, then uh, now if I perform zor again, then everything will be zero. So what I'm saying is first pick l equals to one, r equals to n. Okay, maybe I'll just zoom it. So first pick l equals to one, r equals to n. So now what will happen is every element. So basically you are picking this subsegment, right? You are uh, picking this entire subsegment. So now every element will be replaced by what? A1, Zor, A2, A2, Zor, A3, or oh, maybe I should uh, A1, Zor, A2, Zor, A3, Zor, A4. Right? So every element will be replaced by this, right? Every element here will be replaced by this. Let me just uh, call this element as some P. So now your array looks like this. Now, can you convert this array into zero? Can you think about it? It's simple, right? I can pick L equals to one, R equals to n. You again pick L equals to one, R equals to n. What will happen? What is the zor of all these elements? So basically, now every element has to be replaced by p zor p zor p, basically even number of times. So now every element will be zero. 
right? So this is a very simple observation, guys. See, if you have an even size array, uh, first things first, I want to convert all of them to zero. I know that if I have, if I zor uh, even number of same element, then I'll get a zero. Fine, that I know in my mind. Now, wouldn't be very simple. I just pick l equals to one, r equals to n. So one operation is consumed here, right? So one operation consumed here. Make all the elements equal to this p. P is what basically zor of entire array. And now if I again pick l equals to one, r equals to n. Since all the elements are same and we have even number of same elements, the entire array will turn into zero, right? So that's not much complicated here. So what I can write here is clearly, uh, if n is even, if n is even, the number of operations uh, that is consumed is simply two, right? Simply two. First, you have to print the number of operations that you're doing. And what are those operations? Pick one uh, space and the sp is space. I have defined a type definition above. So and l is one and uh, r is n. Put a new line. And the second operation is again same. Second of the, again same. So what we are right now doing is this operation is making all their elements equal, basically, basically even even zor a to so on c till a n. And now since all the elements are equal, you can again perform, you can again give the same bounds one to n. And now since all the elements are same, and when you perform a zor between them, even number of basically if you have same elements even number of times the zor will be zero. Okay, this we already discussed one of the videos, so I'm not gonna <laughs> go too deep into it. But fine. So that's that. So by just these two operations, my job will be done. What will you do when n is odd? That's interesting. Uh, let's see. We have a bound of eight operation, right? We cannot do more than eight operations. So let's just take example of odd case. So you have a1, a2, a3, a4, a5. Okay. So odd is creating a problem for you, right? So what I'm saying is, just destroy this even part first by two operations. Let's perform these two operations and destroy this array from a1 to an minus one. You can do that for me by performing two operations. Now you have 0, 0, 0 and a5, right? So in the end, odd, can, odd is what? Odd can be represented something like 2p plus 1, right? So what I'm saying is just destroy this part. See, if n is odd, then of course, a1 till an will be even. So just perform two operations and destroy this part, right? Fine. Now what you can do is, you destroyed this part, okay? So you perform two operations. Uh, in both the cases, l was 1 and r equals to n minus 1. So you destroy this even part. Now I have to destroy somewhere, uh, sometime I have to remove, I have to make this a5 to 0, right? So what I'm going to do is, just pick any subsegment of even size that includes a5, and you'll be good to go, right? So for simplicity, I'll just pick an even subsegment of an minus 1 and an. Frankly, you can uh, even pick this subsegment. It just it should have even elements. So the idea is the what is the clear cut observation that you should make is uh, observation that was it even subsegment even subsegment can be destroyed. Basically, it can be made all elements zero in just two operations. So anyway, we will not consume more than eight oper operations here. You can see by performing two operations, I'm converting this part to zero, and let's say I apply two more operation in this part, this even subsegment, and I'll again get everything to be zero. Right? And so it directly follows from this. If you can figure out a case for even, the figuring out for odd is not that difficult. First destroy the even in two operations and then have two more operations for destroying this even subsegment. Or anyway, this even segment also works. Any even, even some segment you can use. But yeah, so where did I choose this an minus one and an only? Because n is greater than equals to two, right? So I don't want to check uh, for the bounds every time. And that's that. It is important to note that we don't have to minimize the number of operations. That's why I'm uh, happily just trying to convert uh, everything to zero by consuming less than eight operations, right? So if it is odd, then you can anyway do it in uh, four operations, right? So you can do it in four operations. And what are those four operations? The first two operations are, uh, I should write here, first destroy a1 till, uh, I should write a1 till an minus 1. First destroy this part. So that would be c out 1. Basically, well, for, basically first uh, apply this operation on subsegment 1 to n minus 1 two times. That's what you want to do, right? No line, I'll copy this and paste. Same operation, right? Now, so this should be destroy, right? Destroy. And then destroy the, the, uh, basically subsegment containing last two elements right so basically destroy uh an minus one and an so basically what you're saying is these all are even subsegments right this is also even this is also even so that's why it's very easy to destroy that right so that you can do right now you can write uh n minus one space n and just copy this paste it here fine so that's that basically uh that's the question done dusted here this is the input if it is even just apply two operations and uh, what is the what is the bound for those two operations? Simply one to n. L will be one, r will be n. If it is odd, first destroy the even part. Uh, first destroy the starting even subsegment, a one to n minus one, then destroy the last even subsegment. Basically, a n minus one, uh, n, a n minus one, a n. Fine. So that's that. Uh, let me just uh, quickly run it uh, to check if for any compile time errors. Yeah, fine. So it seems to be working. Let's see if it is the uh, even, even then it can be destroyed in two two operation. Let's say on odd case seven for example, right? So seven would require. Um, how many operations? Uh, okay, am I missing something here? Okay, I have to print n minus one followed by n, right? Yeah, the, it should be n. Right, so the last two values, the subsegment of last two elements. So it will be n minus one and uh, n. Fine, so let me just uh, clear on it.
fine so i it seems to be working one to six one to six six to seven six to seven fine let me just quickly submit it and see if it works it works sir thank you for watching i will see in the next one